Welcome to the Fungus Bogs. <laughs> Ugh, what's that smell? Ah, right. In the Fungus Bogs, you'll be presented with a cavern that's filled with many different types of xenofungi. And they can arrange in size from small to large and can even be used as platforms in some occasions. But most notably in the fungus bogs, it's very smelly. It's pretty stinky. Not because someone forgot the shower or farted in the background, it just smells, as there's even very poisonous fungus that like to release toxic vapors within the atmosphere. I think that there's fungus among us. The fungus bogs is rated at 2 for rock hardness, meaning that it requires two pickaxes to destroy the environment around you. The materials you can expect to find in the fungus bogs are Kroppa, which has an abundant supply, and Jada's, which has a scarce supply. As far as enemy encounters go in the fungus bogs, glyphids are most common when it comes to this biome, including of course the occasional cave leeches and spitballers to ruin your day. Not only is it stinky in the fungus bogs, but it's also very sticky. In this biome, you'll have chances of finding rather large patches of sticky goo. We're not entirely sure if it's from a goo bummer by any means, but this is permanent sticky goo that will remain on the floor for as long as you're here. The sticky goo will drastically slow your movement speed down by quite a lot. The amount of annoyance that sticky goo will add when you come across is very high, but fortunately, other creatures that happen to step in the goo are also drastically slowed. An easy way to combat against the sticky goo is with Engineer's Platform Gun. You can use the Engineer's Platform Gun to place platforms right on top of the sticky goo to nullify the effects of the goo. Another very notable feature that you'll be able to come across in the fungus bogs is a geyser that's known as a steam geyser. These geysers will periodically spray hot gas and liquid propelling players in its face direction which is usually upwards. If placed conveniently, they can be very useful for reaching a hard to reach area if you're a low mobility class. Though it is worth noting that if you're a driller, you will need to take care when drilling around in the fungus bogs because of that. Steam geysers will explode instantaneously if drilled by a driller or hit with a pickaxe two times, and they will deal way more than enough damage to knock you out instantly. On top of all that, you'll be able to come across yellow looking mushrooms that spew out poisonous vapors in the atmosphere whenever you get close to them. These are known as poison spore funguses. They'll of course cause poisonous damage over time, which can take your shields and health away very slowly, but inevitably if you don't get out of the radius in time. They can be destroyed with a pickaxe or even weapons to get them out of the way if they annoy you too much. And it is also worth noting that the poisonous vapors that they release in the air are flammable. And yes, even the vapors they release when they die. Have fun committing some war crimes out there, drillers. There also happens to be some eggs that you'll have a chance of coming across within the fungus bogs. Within these eggs are Glyphid Swarmers. Upon taking damage, these eggs will explode, releasing a Glyphid Swarmer. If there happens to be more beside it, there are random chances that more of these Glyphid eggs could explode and hatch, releasing even more Swarmers. Always gotta remember to keep quiet and do not disturb. Oh, and one other thing. The maggots also happen to be different when it comes to this biome. Not only are they colored differently, but when you kill them, they will release a tiny fart cloud which will cause poison damage to you. And yes, the tiny fart cloud they release is also flammable. Also within the fungus bogs, you may even be able to find very strange looking plants that are very bright orange and do have a tendency to explode whenever you damage them. These are known as exploding plants. There are a couple other planetary regions that you could find these explosive plants on, but I haven't quite mentioned it yet, so we'll keep it as a surprise for now. These exploding plants can vary in different size, and their different sizes will be able to determine how much health, damage, or radius they will have. With the smallest plant dealing the littlest amount of damage, and the biggest plant doing the biggest amount of damage. Now, unlike the Glacial Strata, there isn't too much for me to explain when it comes to unique creatures or modified enemy. So instead, we will be able to get onto the unique traits that makes the Fungus Bogs, the Fungus Bogs. The first thing that we can point out is the Glow Tree. This is quite honestly my favorite biome feature when it comes to this game in general. This is a tree that has various bulbs at the end of its branches. And upon shooting or mailing the bulbs with your pickaxe, they will light up. And as an added bonus, damaging all five bulbs on the tree will light up the tree permanently, giving you a very nice source of light for a certain section within the cave. And of course, knowing Fungus Bogs is a cavern with a bunch of fungus filled with all different types of xenofungi, you'll be able to find certain kinds of mushrooms. 
They can arrange in different types of shapes and colors, but the most important one of them all is the giant brown puffball fungus. You know the tradition of saying we're rich. Well, be prepared to call mushroom. There also will happen to be hanging grassy vines. These are masses of grassy material that will hang down from the roof to obstruct your vision. They're not threatening by any means, but can get in the way and can get pretty annoying very quickly. And with that, that'll conclude our fungus box guide. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video, and as always, I will see you in the next one. Rockin' Stone.